check it out, Casper. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Casper here, and she has finally been revealed in a style which surprised absolutely no one. Hacking the opening ceremony to the BlizzCon exhibition 2016, Sombra revealed herself, and. All her abilities have already been uploaded to the official Play Overwatch website, so we can take a look at how she's going to function, and in fact, we will all be able to play her next week when she's added to the PTR. But let's take a look at her abilities, because I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of people screaming OP. Now, just like most heroes, she's got a primary weapon, which isn't an ability. Think like Tracer or Diva. And it actually describes it as a fully automatic machine pistol, which fires in a short range spread. Now, to me, that sounds a lot like Diva's pulse cannons. Essentially, it's going to do a lot of damage up close because the bullets are all going to be going directly where you're aiming but at a bit more of a range your bullets are going to be spreading out a lot more so it's not going to be that effective so essentially she's quite an up close hero her next ability is literally called hack and it temporarily disables enemy abilities now you can see from this video here that it takes a few moments to activate she holds her hack on this roadhog for a few seconds before it takes effect but you can also see that it is hacking his ultimate now i don't understand how you can hack flesh and bone but after all, this is just a video game, and the law doesn't make any sense when it comes to actual PvP. I guess this is sort of like the offensive equivalent of a sleep dart. You can take out any person whilst they're in the middle of something. It's not clear from this footage, but I'd imagine the Roadhog can still move, and it's only his ability that's been disabled. So you'll still be able to get away if your ability's been hacked by a Sombra, but obviously you won't be able to use an ability. Next up is something that a lot of people were saying, please don't add this to Overwatch, and that is invisible. Ability. Yes, Overwatch copied Team Fortress 2 in every respect. So it does describe it as a short-term invisibility, which considerably boosts her speed. So essentially, this isn't a getaway mechanic like the Dead Ringer, because basically anything will immediately disable the invisibility. That's getting attacked, using your attack, using any ability, or taking damage will all immediately stop the invisibility. So you won't be able to use it in the middle of a fight because someone will just have to land one bullet on you and become instantly visible. Instead, the way this is meant to be used is you go invisible before getting into a fight, or obviously you go invisible outside of the enemy's view and then you flank essentially using this invisibility. That's why the speed is there. This is designed to get behind people or into an advantage point. She's also got a personal teleporter. She can toss out this little beacon that you would have seen in the um, animated short if you've seen that and then she can teleport to it later. However, it does seem to have a 15 second time limit. So once those 15 seconds are up, it expires, I assume. But you can also use it in the middle of a fight. So you wouldn't use your invisibility to escape. You would actually use your teleporter, which you laid down earlier. Finally, is the ultimate that absolutely nobody was waiting for, apart from Sombra players, and that is an EMP strike, which not only hacks all the abilities of people that it hits, but it also destroys barriers. You can see in the footage of it that it not only stops the McCree's ultimate, but it destroys the Reinhardt shield, and it temporarily disables a turret. This is gonna be massive for fights. The competitive meta largely revolves around combining ultimates, so if you can just throw this EMP into a wave of enemy ultimates and completely shut down their attack, it's gonna have a massive impact. I can see Sombra getting played a lot, depending on actually what the cooldowns are and that sort of thing, but she sounds like an extremely useful hero. She is classed as an offense, but she certainly sounds like more of a supporting role of the offensive side. I mean, she's only got one damaging ability, which is her gun, which isn't even an ability, so I'm not sure how they can call her an offensive character, but hey, that's what they've classed her as. So hope you're all excited as I am being a spy player in Team Fortress 2, playing this sort of supportive flanking role does sound quite interesting to me, although I don't think she'll actually feel a lot like the spy. It's very interesting. I do like Anna as well for her sort of utility. I love the bionic grenade that you can sort of inhibit an enemy player, and the fact that her hack and ultimate abilities are both quite similar to that sort of effect. I think this is going to blow the meta wide open. Or maybe it won't. Who knows? Anyway, guys, as I said, she will be on the PTR next week for us all to enjoy, as well as some new game modes and that sort of stuff. And I look forward to playing all that. If you are interested in Team Fortress 2, that's mostly what I do on this channel. But I will also be touching on Overwatch, assuming, of course, you guys are all interested in that, which I'm sure some people out there are. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much. If that ain't fair.